When we travel to Boise, we say we're from Prosser. Oh man, they, they go, oh thank you for lending us those two boys for the last uh, four years. Football is very important there just because of the tradition. It's been very successful for quite a while. Prosser, Washington, a town off of I-82 in Washington State. You might miss it if you're not paying attention. It's the home of a football star who's just as inconspicuous. You'd never know he was the star quarterback walking the hallways. Football was always a part of life, even when Kellen and Kirby Moore were kids. He'd come out on the field for the game and play catch with somebody and you know, you just sort of catch your attention as a little, little kid can really throw the ball. As high school players playing for their dad, Tom, both Kellen and Kirby were beyond impressive. Kellen, holding every career passing record at Prosser, has 3,200 more career yards than the next guy in the record books. Kirby left Prosser with the national record for touchdown receptions. Yes, tops in the country. Right before the 2006 high school season, it was time for Kellen to figure out his future. I know he was a little small, um, but he was so accurate and so good that I just kind of wondered, you know, if someone would take a chance on him or not. The first offer was from Eastern Washington University, a top-notch Division II program, but for a long time, it was the only offer. I think it's always just a tough decision just because, you know, it's, yeah. it's five years of your life that, you know, you got to spend at that place and it's a critical decision. I do remember thinking to myself, if this isn't good enough, I don't know what is. The Boise State relationship started before his senior year. Moore was invited to a Bronco camp. He laughs about the experience, remembering it didn't go so well. I remember Coach Harris making fun of me because they had an accuracy challenge and I was one of the worst guys there that day. It couldn't have been that bad because two years later, after his red shirt season, he was sitting next to Coach Pete. We're really excited today to announce Kellen as our starting quarterback. Pretty excited about the opportunity. I mean, very thankful that the coaches, uh, you know, have the confidence in me. And the rest, as they say, is history. The opportunity to play for four years wasn't something I was, you know, anticipating or, you know, fully expecting. But, uh, you know, you're fortunate. You, you found a good spot. You're able to be surrounded by some good people and have a lot of success. The success of the Bronco football team has invigorated the city of Boise and a Washington town 300 miles away. In Prosser, it's turned a town from Washington State Country to Bronco Nation. Go Broncos! Go Broncos! Go Broncos! Boise State! And a tourist destination. It's my birthday tomorrow, so we thought we'd come to the home of Kellen Moore. What have you been doing today? Wine and tasting. <laughs> and eating. Go enjoy Prosser, you know. Drink some wine, uh, enjoy the town. Go Broncos! Yes! Some even come a day early so they can watch the Mustangs play uh, on the home field and uh, see where Kellen and Kirby played football and kind of get a feel what small town life is about. Football days, all roads lead downtown to the Princess Theater where Kellen and Kirby are stars of the show. Kellen Moore and his number five Boise State Broncos. We started thinking how, how fun it would be if we could show them every week and we've been doing it now for four years. It's a great thing. Pass for the lefty Moore. It's very special. Certainly, I think we've grown it. You know, some of the Bronco Nation has gone up there, and uh, you know they really enjoy Boise State. I think they've really, you know, caught on to it and enjoyed the experience. The Moors still visit home quite often to their dad's office and the shrine to his boys, to the old locker room, which Kellen jokes he really doesn't miss. Facilities aren't nice. Uh, <laughs> the high school's been there for a little while, and uh, you're not getting anything special out of that. Still, there's something about the town, even the locker room, that feels a whole lot more comfortable to a guy who likes to keep it low key. I think you know people know you differently than uh, you know they know you first and foremost as Kellen before he gets to Boise State, and uh, you know that, that's very comforting. For Kellen, three more games in a Bronco uniform, and that's it. This week, he said that's finally set in. You're down to only a few games left, and after that, you got you got to do something else, and uh, it goes fast. So you just try and enjoy it. After being told he was too small for Saturdays, you can probably expect the same prediction for Sundays. Just don't tell that to a 5,000 person town that produced a young man who knows how to win better than anyone else in college football history. I'd just say that we're all really proud of them and, and because they're 
you know, he's such a nice guy. You know, um, everyone's happy for his success, and um, you know, we all we get chills when we hear our little town mentioned on the, you know, ESPN or something. It's pretty neat.